Hello, you're watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the NES. Um, me, Stu. Uh, I have a really tortured relationship with this game. Essentially, it is a, well, it's a 2D platform game where you can play as each of the turtles, uh, and they will have different weapons. I'm not sure if they have different skills so much, but their weapons are useful. Uh, pretty much Leo, if I recall correctly, Leo and Don are the only ones with weapons that are even remotely acceptable in actual combat. As you can see, I'm awful at this. I have beaten this game before once over at Ken's, uh, Ken being a dear friend of mine, and I used extensive save states to manage that because I just find this excruciatingly difficult. It's absolutely awful. This scene doesn't seem too bad, you'll notice, but really... I mean, look how much damage I've taken, and you, I'm just awful at it. Now, f luckily, you can just kind of go, if I recall correctly, you can just kind of go in and out grabbing and grabbing that pizza, unless you keep taking damage, in which case, like, you know, like me, because I'm a massive spaz. Uh, yeah, anyway, let me explain the mechanics a little bit more. You can choose turtles like so. I'm Raph now, and he's got the, uh, I believe they're supposed to be nunchucks. Mike's got... Or are they supposed to be nunchucks? And I think those are the nunchucks, and these are the side daggers, if I recall correctly. Don has this useful weapon, which stretches almost half the screen, which is extremely useful. Uh, so you need to sort of save him. Um, and you go around this overworld, being suddenly killed by a massive steamroller thing, which thankfully hasn't shown up yet. Now, the most one of the more annoying things about this game is that some of the areas are completely useless to go in, and you don't really know that without trial and error. Um, and each area is just like this absolute clusterfuck of just constant death. And I think I'm fighting either Bebop or Rocksteady, I can't remember which is which. Thankfully this, this guy is too hard. Basically this game is insanely difficult, I think, considering that it's ostensibly aimed at kids. Um, kids, I, I mean, yeah, when you're young you have more of a tolerance for annoying as fuck piece of shit games like this, but this is just brutal. I mean, I can't imagine a child finishing this. I mean, I could only finish it cheating. It's the only way. Uh, and I'm pretty good at platform games, I have to say. Now, if you go in here, there's a whole pizza, but it's not really worth it with the health I have. Uh, so I'll keep going. I'm only going to do uh, a bit of this game instantly because it just makes me so angry. Uh, Ken will tell you, if not that you'll ever speak to him. Um, unless you're like, already his friend. Yeah, Ken will tell you, the last time I played this over here, I played through the whole game in about two goes, and, I mean, I was just screaming, it wasn't like fake screaming, it wasn't like, oh, I'm so angry with this game, kind of, haha, I'm funny, kind of screaming, it was just pure fury, it was just tr true anger and rage at this absolutely obnoxious video game. Is that it? Oh, I see. So this is one of those completely useless areas. That's really cool. That's really fun. Almost lost the turtle. Leo, one of the... Yep, there he goes. Bye, Leo. That was one of the decent turtles. And so now I have to switch to Don. Not going back in there. Oh, God, there's that thing. Ah, see, now this, this would have been useful if i just come here. I could have healed up by collecting that pizza repeatedly. Uh, now, to see, now this... After this... This, this isn't a patch, in difficulty-wise, on the rest of the game. After this, you eventually have to do this swimming level. We have to defuse bombs by swimming through coral, which kills you. And let's just say the, the the room for error is astonishingly tight, and the time limit really adds to that. It's really, really hard. And that was, to me, I, I was furious with that. I just could not believe that passed as decent design. And then, of course, it got worse. There's several more levels after that. Uh, the last level has a section where you're going along a thin corridor with these flying enemies, and I, unless you've just got full health and you just kind of cheese your way through it, I cannot see how that is doable without memorizing every aspect of the game, uh, all of its, just how everything works. And this is the end of level one. If I kill this guy, which I probably will fail to do, although he isn't too hard. I think you use a cheat way of doing this with Don as well go up here and you can somehow hit him with this, I think. He has to come over it first though. Yeah, see that's the easy way of doing it. When he jumps you can just about hit him. And then you can rescue April. Now see, bearing in mind how good the later Turtles games were, this one is just a massive abortion. Don't let the f 
Foot Clan destroy the dam. You have my support. Oh, well, thanks for that. Anyway, maybe I'll do another level uh, later. See you later.